What is up, everybody? It is Wick here. I'm getting ready to sacrifice the roof of my mouth to the Crunch Gods. And then we're going to go do some major sourcing. Um, got a lot of places to hit. I'm going to be focusing on retail arbitrage. I'm still going to hit about seven, seven or eight Goodwills, though, because um, I'm going to be passing them. I might as well run in there and see if there's any quick buys. Probably won't be thoroughly going over it, like going through clothes or anything. But um, it is currently, I don't know how far I am editing vlogs right now but it's uh two days after christmas and yesterday i went out and just bought a bunch of christmas clearance i always buy a lot of it and hold it all year and then resell it um next season so i did very well yesterday i believe um spent nearly two thousand dollars and i think in the end uh, i'll get about uh four thousand five thousand hoping to find some more today um probably most of it's gone it was 75 percent off at um like Lowe's, Home Depot, and uh, went to Menards, and um, didn't end up going to Walmart or anything for Christmas clearance. I, I rarely do, but anyway, um, I would like to get a little bit more. It's not as good as last year, I don't think, um, but you know, in a week or so, I'll be going 90% off, and I'll start picking up more of the inflatables and whatever's left, and then uh, save those as well, so we'll probably be adding to that total. But let's go out. Come with me. Let's go make some money. My first profits of the day. Uh, someone left me some pizza on the front porch, so I'll take it. Had to empty my car of some uh, Christmas inflatables I bought yesterday. Frosty the Snowman. Uh, a bunch of lights and stuff, too. Because uh, I'm hopefully going to fill it up on this trip. So let's go. First stop is a Lowe's. Inside of Lowe's, I spot some great clearance. You got some 50 cent uh, lawnmower belts that were 20 bucks. So I went ahead and picked those up. I left that one because it wasn't selling too well. And that one was too badly damaged. And one of them didn't even match. So I left those. Ended up picking up one of these Kitchler light kits too. Uh, there's some money to be made on those. First store and I'm probably going to halfway fill the car. Hmm. So inside this Goodwill, I'm digging on this in cap and I find an amazing score. Let me show you where I found it. Right there in that basket, it was under all this crap. And um, I found a calculator like this recently under a bunch of hangers and stuff. So um, sometimes you just gotta dig because you never know what you're gonna find. So here I'm looking in the CDs, the media. I see some CDs I need to scan and um, all the sealed ones I always check, usually don't mess with the used ones. Here's a <laughs> just a graveyard of unwanted sports games, uh, not worth anything. There are some sports games that do have some value, uh, just none of those are here. DVD I don't mess with. And the toys, uh, the toys aren't that good. A bunch of the same old kind of junk you see at every thrift store. Unfortunately, no sealed games uh, for me to find today at this Goodwill. Uh, here's a Palm Pilot. I actually found one of these sealed somewhat recently at a Goodwill and ended up selling it for, I think, $60 or $70. Paid five. Used ones, it's just not really worth it. And I did spot something here on the shelf. It is a uh, micro cassette Pearl Quarter uh, Panasonic. So I picked that up. And uh, But I hear a new cart that just came out. So I rushed back to the new cart because... I always say it, new, the cars that just come out can always have the best stuff because they're unpicked. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, this one uh, was not that great. There's like a Harley Davidson piggy bank there, not worth anything. Uh, some makeup samples and just uh, more junk that Goodwill's going to throw on the shelves and um, I'm not going to buy it. St. Francis, really dislike this thrift store, but I do find stuff. Actually, my top item I sold this on eBay came from this store so you still gotta go in you still got a source gotta wade through all the garbage and pick out the treasure so there was nothing for me in st francis and now i'm in the next goodwill there's a wii u all beat up no controllers wires or anything for 50 you got wii's for 35 you got an original playstation there i think they wanted 40 dollars i had a diablo sticker that does not make it worth 30 more dollars than what it is um a bunch of just generic games i did end up finding a game though um this was one of the sports games that can be worth money ncaa football 13 um 
I think it's like $30 used, but I'm looking at it. And uh, then I realized it's $9.99 as I'm walking here that they have this priced up. I could not believe it. I put it down there and I said, no way, I'm not buying that at all. In the electronics section, they had a bunch of these headphones and I flipped one over and I seen that they have an FBA uh, label on there. So it was probably somebody's wholesale or uh, FBA or private label product. So they weren't worth anything. Here's for $25, a generic sharp digital camera. It was like three megapixels or something. Just not worth $25 at all. Um, just a bunch of junk. This Goodwill has the most electronics, but they're usually priced high and junky. Uh, there's a Swan camera. I looked that up. Just wasn't worth selling used uh, for the price there. And uh, there's actually a DVD recorder here, a Philips one, but it wasn't a good seller and it didn't have the remote and they wanted I think 25 for it so I decided just to leave that there so I've been in three Goodwills and a thrift store St. Francis and I got a few bags doing pretty well also got a DVD recorder back there a Sony one with the remote I'd pay $25 for it but it looks like if it works I'm gonna get about 250 to 300 um, so pretty excited about that but <laughs> It's hard to get too excited because a lot of times they don't work. Starting to rain here, and that usually means I'm going to have a lot of stuff I buy because every time it rains, it seems like I, I find a lot of stuff. I have to load it in the car, so that's a good sign. Just got out of another Lowe's and ended up buying stuff, of course, in the rain. I got a bunch more of those lights. I think I got about 25 or 26 so I don't know. I think I make about $20, $25 a piece on them. But um, I'm going to go hit Home Depot now and see what kind of clearance they got going on. Here I am at the final Goodwill of the day. And this is an interesting uh, little find here. It is a blow-up boxing ring for $50. It actually said tested on it. So they took the effort to blow that up. And <laughs> I find that kind of impressive. Uh, new car to stuff, nothing on there. And here I am in Kohl's. Uh, Kohl's actually has a lot of good clearance this time of year after Christmas. And you can see I'm already filling my cart of some of the better deals, but we'll go over that here in the haul part of the video. But yeah, don't underestimate Kohl's, Bed Bath Beyond, um, any of those types of stores. It's always stuff to be found. All right, everybody, it is the next day, and here is the haul. What a great haul this turned out to be. Um, you've seen a lot of the stuff in the previous videos. I, I'm just not going to show that here, like the some of the stuff from Lowe's, of course, the Christmas lights. Um, some stuff from Lowe's is here, and um, a lot of it is thrifted items. Um, actually got some Kohl's stuff, so we're going to go through this. Um, definitely going to clear $1,000, um, I think, just on this table. And then if you add the lights and uh, other stuff, um, you're looking at close to close to two grand. Uh, for being out about eight hours. So uh, let's just jump into it here. There's a lot to go through. I'll try to be pretty quick. Here you got some bread and butter items, this nice Times Square puzzle. I'd have to pay $4 for it, but I will make about six or $7 profit on that. It's a pretty good seller. Uh, Kohl's, you don't see a lot of Kohl's stuff, and I normally only source there after Christmas and once stuff starts getting cheap. Their Christmas stuff is 70% off. And this tree is actually for my mom because she wanted a like a two foot tree that could handle ornaments uh, because that's all she wants to put up since she's aging. And um, I figured I'd pick that up for her. It was normally $40. It was $11.99. So that's what that is. It is on Amazon for $59.99 and the rank's not established yet. So maybe you could make money on these. I don't know. Uh, also at Kohl's, we got a Mastermind here. In the 10 it was 20 marked down what to four the thing about Kohl's is their original prices are always outrageous but they do have good sales and clearance and 80% off this is four dollars I should make about twelve dollars a piece on these I got four of them uh, so do the math we got this uh, Trimino's it was also four dollars now this one is coming up as like some pirate game or something when you scan it but on eBay they were selling for like 24 bucks. So for $4, I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, this was a great find. Uh, think and sink. Um, $4 from 20. But the thing with this one is uh, there's no one on the listing right now. Zero sellers on Amazon. And 
Um, has a 20,000 rank in toys with five star reviews. So I think it's going to do pretty well. I'm probably going to price it at about 25 bucks. So I should make 12 or 13 dollars. Only got three of those though. This Cat Chaos card, I don't even remember. I kind of think I might have bought this for myself. Uh, I think there's a little bit of money. Um, I just went and picked it up. They had a lot of games there. They just weren't cheap enough yet. So I will keep an eye on it. Maybe I'll be able to pick them up. And the funny thing about the the Kohl's was she told me I was a penny away to getting ten dollars in Kohl's cash, and I asked her. I said, "Can I give you a penny?" And she said, "No, sorry." But I grabbed this pack of gum. It was at the register, and out of that, this was a dollar forty nine for this. But it got me ten dollars Kohl's cash. So I'll probably go back next week, see if the clearance has dropped, and try to spend that Kohl's cash and turn it into ten dollars cash in my pocket. But there can be great opportunities at Kohl's. It's a pain to source there. Uh, but uh, you can definitely find stuff, especially after Christmas. Here's some Lowe's things. This is conduit. What is this? Uh, some sort of flex cable for uh, electric work. Anyway, it was 13 bucks, and it was on Amazon, I think, for $59.99, $69.99. So I went and picked those up. Got this Whirlpool filter here. Uh, I believe this was like $9, and it was selling for like $40. On Amazon so I picked that up and also at Lowe's I picked up this wireless doorbell kit that was normally like 40 bucks it was marked down to two dollars fifty cents um, I just picked it up because it was so cheap I'm sure there's money somewhere uh, I feel like it wasn't on Amazon when I scanned it uh, this one was slightly disappointing um, because of the the corners chipped I won't be able to sell it on Amazon but this does sell for about forty five dollars on Amazon and about forty um, on eBay. I'll get a little bit less selling it on eBay and I might just send it in as still sealed on Amazon and you know disclose that there's some packaging damage. Um, either way this is a great find. I'm going to make some money on it. It's just a battery for a tool. Uh, there's a couple of these at Lowe's. I only picked up one because one looked like it had been opened and tampered with. Uh, I think I'll make like ten dollars on that. Home Depot here you got a couple timers. I paid about five bucks for these. I think you make like seven or eight dollars. Didn't really want to buy them because uh, this brand is kind of like a Home Depot type brand and it will, sometimes they do bad, sometimes they do great. But I went ahead and picked them up anyway. I picked up this in a Goodwill. It was $1.99, so Olympus uh, Pearl Quarter. So this will definitely land me about a uh, $50 or $60 sale, I think, on Amazon. If it works, a lot of times they don't work. Uh, here's something... You can look out for uh, blank media, of course, but a lot of times these CDRs do not do well. These will do well because they look like vinyl records. They're made to look like vinyl records. You can't really tell, I don't think, in here, but they, they look like vinyl records. And uh, they sell for about 30 bucks, so I had to pay $7 for them, though. But I'll make like an easy 15 ish I think, on those. Still trying to learn more about shoes. I picked up this brand. I'm going to butcher this. Um, more, more Eshi. Um It's an Italian brand. But look how like stretched these are. Like the, the wideness of them. Um, otherwise they're in fairly good condition. But the comps on these. is Sometimes you look up shoes and stuff. And you say that's definitely a buy. These are more like. Well a lot of these types of shoes from this uh, brand are selling well. Um, like 40 to $60, and I just don't know if these ones will, because I couldn't find the exact shoe. So for four ninety nine, I went and picked them up, figured I'd try. You know, it might be harder to see this stuff when it's actually sunny. It's rarely sunny, but it's like all these weird sun shadows. Uh, I picked up this at Goodwill as well. This is a CD. I went $4 for it, unfortunately. It is sealed, uh, but I'm, I'm restricted on Amazon. I can sell it on eBay. I'll make an easy $10 bill in the end, and it's so easy to list media like that and ship it with media mail. So um, for two or three minutes of work, it's worth making $10. It's kind of how I judge some eBay items I sell. Home Depot, this ideal electrical toolkit was $10 marked down from $40. They had two, but one of them was just busted open, so I left that one. And, um, geez, I think I was going to make $20 or $25 on that. Got this home. I don't know why I bought this stupid hedgehog. Um, I looked it up. I don't think it was on Amazon or it was restricted or something, but it was $4. And on eBay, it looked like it was selling for $25-ish. 
So I'm like, oh, I can make a little bit of money on eBay. I just threw it in the cart and bought it. So there it is. Um, really don't like to deal with weird things like that because they can sit sometimes, but it did look like they were selling some. Here is some stuff from Meyer. if you have any of those around you, some filters. Paid $3.50 for these. They actually, I'm going to make me $9 a piece. I got four of them. But the really cool find back here was these Atari uh, plug-and-plays. Uh, they didn't have a price on them, but they were in the clearance section. I went and scanned them on their price checker. $1.99. Uh, they sell for $35. I might even be able to get $40 on Amazon for them. So great pickup there indeed. Here's just some sort of audiobook. Goodwill, $1.99 sealed. I think I make $10, $12 on that. Got some books I picked up in the church thrift I stopped in. Um, I didn't spend over $2 on all of them. No, I, did. I spent barely over $2 on all of them. And I think I'll make about $20, $25 on those. But the big find in the church thrift store was this um, camera. I opened it up and uh, probably going to be one of my best finds of the year based on price. It is a... a Panasonic Luminix. It's the model like before the one I I bought for like 600 and knew this still sells for 500 Used it's still selling on Amazon for about uh, 250 to 300 bucks and this is an absolutely mint condition. It works because the battery was still charged and it has uh, the battery, the charger, the disc, the paperwork, and the case. Everything was there. And it didn't have a price on it, and a lot of the stuff at this thrift store, you know, there's just a paper telling you what, like, certain types of items are priced. Nothing about cameras. So I walked up to the guy working there, and I said, how much for this? And he looked at it, he's like, is that one of those old digital cameras? I'm like, yep. And he's like, how's $3 sound? I said, that's fair. So um, I'll probably sell this on Amazon, try to get at least $2.50 for it. Um, eBay, they still sell for like $176 um, with this setup, so absolutely a great pickup. Um, I love finding stuff like this. And I did find a lot of great electronics today. Um, real quick, the Quelf game sealed sells for about $38 right now. Maybe inflated because of Christmas, but for $299, dollars am going to make some great money. Still can't believe I'm finding these calculators. I wish it had the case, but I'm still probably going to land $50 for that calculator. Church Thrift had these $1.75 PS3 games, Gundam. Uh, it's about a $25 game. Uh, the X-Men game, I think, is about $20. Uh, they're both complete. The discs were in good condition, so I picked them up. I'm not sure if they're going to be sold or kept in the collection. So I picked this up in Walmart. It was $7.50. I'll make about $15 on this. Actually, I found one of these not too long ago and already sold it. I believe I made about $15 on it. So I uh, feel confident buying a, a second one. Back here, this BOD um, sport pack just came out. It was only $1.99, so I figured for some shampoo, body spray, and stuff, I could just use that for personal use, so I just threw it in the cart as well. Here in a Goodwill, there's a JVC VCR. It's like in pretty much mint condition, barely used, if any. Uh, remote is in there, uh, manual. And they wanted, I think, let's see, oh, it was 10 bucks. But uh, this is a great ranked one, and I should be able to sell this for $99. I sell a lot of Sonys for that. Um, well, certain Sony models will sell for that, but JVC is pretty rare. Now, this is ranked 38,000. Uh, the Sony ones are usually ranked like below 100, but uh, this still is going to sell really quick. And in that condition, as long as it works, it still might not work. I got to test all of this stuff. Uh, but uh, this is a crazy find. This is a. Oh, it's stuck to the manual down there. This is a Philips um, Blu-ray 4K player. And I looked this up, and it looks like it's selling for close to $200 used. Uh, not sure why somebody donated that. Hopefully that works. I may end up keeping this for myself, too. Probably not, though, because I'm never going to be buying 4K movies. Probably, at least for a while. I'm not someone who likes to spend a lot of money on movies. I get my movies other ways. Uh, but there is a Sony blu-ray player down here too which was about a hundred thousand rank electronics and it had manual and um remote as well and it was 10 bucks and it was selling for about a hundred i think so um actually maybe it was like 150 um i don't even remember at this point but again hopefully it works it has some dirt on it that'll come right off but otherwise mint condition 
Um, usually don't see Blu-ray players that cheap at Goodwills. And then I, I mentioned the Sony uh, DVD recorder, which I'll be able to sell for $250, $300 if it works. Uh, the remote is there too. Uh, $25, but well worth it if it works. I'll get it tested. This is a pretty interesting uh, pickup here. This is a decalb uh, jacket. It is a um, waterproof dry duck. Uh, I found this exact one. It was selling consistently for $45, $50 plus buyer pay shipping. Absolutely mint condition, so I picked it up. So I think in the end, you know, I'm going to land at least a $40 bill profit on this jacket. It is XXL, I think. Yes, so um, might be able to get a little bit more. We'll see. I have to do some comparables. And I couldn't remember if I got this yesterday or the day before and I didn't show it yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I showed this before. This varmint jacket. Um, it is a nice jacket. It was half off at Goodwill or Salvation Army for $2.50. So, um... I it's a little bit small on me. I want to keep it, but um, I wasn't going to leave it sit there. I think it'll make some pretty good money, uh, especially if only paying two fifty on eBay. I don't know how much exactly, maybe a twenty dollar bill. But that's going to do it for this video, everyone. I'm going to thank you for watching. Uh, really big haul today. Make sure you hit that like button for me, and I'm serious. Hit that like button for me because it really helps the video out. Uh, it makes all this editing and setting this stuff out worth it for me. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my reselling adventures. Get some ideas of what kind of stuff you can find and flip. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. Thank you for watching. This has been Wick. Till next time.